live with Lieutenant Governor Cowley. Um, so when did you get in? Got in last night at about 10 o'clock, just uh, gearing up for a really big day today. So you were in last night. Did you you got to watch uh, you got to watch the uh, the speeches last night from your hotel room? What did you think of Paul Ryan? Paul Ryan was electrifying. Really, it was amazing to see somebody speak with such clarity about the issues that face our nation and, and there's a conventional wisdom for, for so long and people saying you know it's uh, that that the American people aren't ready for the truth well uh, Paul Ryan I think is proving them wrong Mitt Romney is proving them wrong to say that this nation is ready to handle and tackle the big issues that we need in order to put the interests of the next generation ahead of our own so did you work it out with the governor then to kind of flip-flop through the week and you can take in some things and he can do the same we have very strict rules the governor and I regarding being gone from the state at the same time Okay. And uh, and so, taking that responsibility very seriously, I did stay back in Michigan while the governor was here for several days, and then we arranged so that as soon as he landed in Michigan, I took off to come here, and uh, just really privileged to be a part of this last day. Any rumor you were hanging with Kid Rock backstage? You know, the, I I did get a, a little time uh, to spend with Kid Rock last week in Michigan, and he what an a great what a great ambassador he is. For you Michigan. know, it was great because last night when we were there, you know, here he is made uh, wearing his Made in Detroit T-shirt talking about Detroit and talking about Michigan while he was on stage. It was kind of I was standing in a suit, which I would have never have pictured myself, yeah. but it was great. Yeah, and you think about, like, um, um, Bob Ritchie, Kid Rock, is, yeah. um, is, you know, native of Michigan that made it big and stayed here. And not just made it big and stayed here, but also whether it's helping veterans or doing things like being the Grand Marshal of the Pure Michigan 400 NASCAR race um, or, uh, or saving the symphony. I mean, there's so many different things that he's engaged and involved in. He's not just uh, somebody who um, who is a celebrity from Michigan, but a celebrity from Michigan who is taking ownership of the future of our state. And that's something really to be proud of. So what are you planning today? So today there's a lot of different events leading up to the main event tonight, which is the, main, the acceptance speech of of Mitt Romney, I'm spending a lot of time with the Michigan delegation in several different uh, settings with our grassroots, uh, but really just looking to be a part of that excitement of the nomination process of the next president of the United States. So, what do you what do you expect him to say tonight? I expect him to deliver a very hopeful message about the future. Yeah, our, our country's been through a terrible uh, last several years in terms of political divisiveness and economic downturn. Uh, one of the worst recessions that our nation has seen in a very, very long time. And it's easy to have a pessimistic outlook about the future, but the message that Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan deliver is that it's okay to dare to be great again. This nation is great, our people are great, our resources are great. We have all the attributes necessary in order to take our, our nation on a different trajectory than we've been on the last several years. And to, and, to, and to get people to believe in that spirit again, to get people to, um, to rally behind the cause of putting the interests of the next generation ahead of our own uh, is, is something I believe he's up for the challenge. Paul Ryan certainly was, and I know Mitt will tonight. Paul Ryan talked a lot about his mom last night, talked a lot about his family last night. Do you see, uh, do you see the, the, uh, those themes coming out in the speech tonight, or does he talk jobs and economy, or, or, or is the answer yes? Yeah, I think the answer will be yes. I mean, uh, so each, so much, uh, each of us are a, uh, a product of, of where we come from and who raised us and the important people in our lives. That's an important story uh, for these nominees to tell. But the, the focus on opportunity and prosperity for our nation, for, uh, for our citizens, for their kids and their grandkids is going to be a critical part of the, uh, of the message. I expect them to really focus on unleashing the potential behind America's private sector and what that really means for the future of this nation. Do you think he talks about his dad? I, I hope that he does. I don't know for sure, but uh, George Romney was just an amazing leader in Michigan and uh, a shout out to his father I think would be very, very appropriate. Certainly would touch the hearts of a lot of people in Michigan that remember George Romney for the strong leader he was in our, in our state.